Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is another video detailing the kitchen renovation that we are still working on. In today's video, we're going to work primarily on these windows here. So you can see that in our kitchen, we had two windows. Um, they were two single windows, but they were attached in the middle. And in order to do the new layout for the kitchen that we wanted, we had to turn this into one window. And that one window needed to be moved into pretty much the middle of where those two windows were. So um, on this day, Andrew was actually out getting some house wrap for us to put on the outside when we were done the window. So I decided to start taking apart the windows while he was gone. I have never taken apart windows before. So I really had no idea what I was doing, but because we only needed one, I figured if I messed up a little bit, it wasn't that big of a deal. And I had watched a YouTube video. There were actually not very many YouTube videos that described how to do exactly what we're doing. But I sort of just decided to <laughs> look for screws wherever I could and take them out and slice through all of the uh, foam that was around the window and hope that between doing those two things, I would be able to get this window out. I don't know what happened to my footage. I had filmed myself taking all the flashing off the back of the window. I'm doing a whole bunch more work, but that is gone. And so when Andrew got home, he took out the window. It I wasn't able to do it on my own while he was gone. It turned out I had missed two screws at the top. They had been they were hidden and I didn't even see that there was these little like recessed flaps. So uh, Andrew to the rescue. <laughs> um, but before I get too much into this, I just want to introduce myself. If you are new here, my name is Danielle. I am slowly transforming this channel into some content that I feel better reflects myself and my family and where we're at in life, which is kind of always a moving target, but I just feel like I've been having some pretty good personal breakthroughs lately in terms of what I want our future to look like, and so I want to try and get my channel reflecting that. Certainly a big part of our life right now is doing this reno. It's, it's um, you know, we're working on it in between work and kids and all of that and we've had some setbacks just in terms of things being available so it's definitely taken I won't say longer than we expected because we know ourselves and we knew it was going to be a long process but we are getting closer and closer to the finish line so you can see there that we were able to um, split those two windows apart so we have two perfectly good vinyl windows we were actually able to sell one of them on Facebook marketplace which is awesome and then you can see Andrew's just sort of putting it in just to see how it's gonna look. That's basically what we're gonna do is have one window there in the middle of where the two windows were before. Um, I also seem to lose a lot of the footage of Andrew putting the window in and putting all of the wood to make the new structure. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, must just be so eager to get going on these renovations that we keep forgetting to set up our camera. So I am sorry it jumps around a little bit, but you will still get the gist of what we are doing while we're doing it. So the owner that had this house before us, I've mentioned in other kitchen videos, he was very, um, I guess you would say skilled and he did a really great job building this house very, um, I don't know what the word would be, but it's really built, been built well. And he had some of these little pieces of wood that he had used to make sure that the previous windows were level and in the frame properly. So we were able to reuse those for the one window, which just made Andrew's job a little bit easier in terms of leveling things off and making sure it fit in the space well. So you can see here, it was really easy to get this window. Um, we put the one screw in, I think he screwed it in two different places, and then we just made sure that everything was level before we really secured it. And then on either side of that window, it was just framing out, um, putting the outside boards up, filling everything with a lot of insulation, and then drywalling over top. It, 
I mean, it's tedious in a way. There's a lot of steps, but it's not a hard process. And the nice thing is when you're taking a bigger window and going to a smaller window, you don't need any kind of permit um, because you're not changing anything structurally to the house. You're actually just adding to it. So while Andrew was working on that, I was getting rid of, um, you can see that there was still some backsplash that was left on this wall uh, between the countertop that was there and the window that was there. And then there was a really thick strip of caulking that went across the back of the countertop. So I was getting rid of all of that while Andrew made sure that our window was secured. go all boarded up Went from one, or sorry, two windows to one window. We put the framing in around it. This is the same boards that are on the outside of the house. You can see, so Andrew put them in here. You can see it's the same boards that are on the outside of the house. And he just wrapped those with, I forget what it's called. It's not Tyvek, it's a different brand. You can see it down there. So all we'll have to do now is get some new cedar shake for the outside. We'll put the, I believe that's called flashing, like the part that makes sort of like the windowsill on the outside. We'll put that back on. We got to do all the spray foam in all the joints, put in the actual foam, cover it with some drywall, and that's our new kitchen window. Okay, so you've been jingling away. Oh, but you wouldn't even be able to tell. No, here's sand out there. Push it up through and jiggle it. There? Oh no. Oh, 
Okay, your turn. <laughs> oh, I guess the bit's a little too long. Okay, pull this bit out of here and uh, yeah, that's the outside now. Hey, Danny, we got a, uh, a miniature skylight. Oh, I was able to make some room. We could just put a channel so I didn't even need to drill through the roof uh, to begin with. Womp womp. Womp womp. Well, silver lining. Uh, we needed to do our roof anyways because it's on its way out. But uh, with the rain coming up, at least I've got the stuff to uh, to fix it here. So, just stop. Ah, oh, nice big goop. Water ready, 30 minutes. Perfect. That works for me. And a little bit of uh, spray foam on this side. So uh, it's not waterproof. Hopefully the top one works, but we'll keep an eye on it uh, the next couple rainfalls. So the window is done. We have moved on to a different day. You can tell it snowed. <laughs> so that also tells you, because you know I live in Ontario, that this was filmed a couple of months ago. This was actually back uh, sort of mid to end March that we were doing this. And like I mentioned, so you can see that we got that whole left corner of this wall. Um, we got it drywalled. We put up the corner bead. We got it plastered we did everything there and um actually i did most of that because i did a lot of that in the bathroom so i learned how to do it and that was something i could be doing you know when andrew's not available to do bigger jobs and i just forgot to film myself so i'm sorry i didn't get to show you that part but here what we're doing is we got the fridge moved over to its new location now that the window is done so i mentioned in other videos we've had to do everything as a domino effect so we had to do the window in order to be able to move the fridge over. Once the fridge was moved over, we could paint that top bit of ceiling and wall white before we could then go ahead and put up our cupboards. And I'm not gonna add the cupboards to this video. That's gonna be a total other video, but I am gonna show you the beginning process of doing that because we just wanted to try it out and see how it was going to look in the space. So this is me building our very first Ikea cabinet for our new kitchen. It is a very simple process. The instructions are extremely easy to follow. I started off using a screwdriver, but I eventually started using a drill and I just put it on a really low torque. Um, and that just made me feel like I had more control over how fast I screwed in a screw so that I wasn't potentially going too fast and then maybe damaging <laughs> the cupboards. So that never happened, which was great and definitely using the drill helped make things go by a lot faster. But anyways, once you've built one of these things, you can build all of them and you can build them in your sleep because they're all pretty much the same and they're very simple and they all follow the same steps. So this was something that I was able to do. And while I got this built, I, Andrew was putting up the piece of rail that goes on the wall that you can then hang the cupboards for. If you are doing bottom cupboards, I don't think you actually need to use the rail, but we decided to use it for both our upper, which we only have three upper cabinets, and we used it for all of our bottom cabinets as well. I'm sorry, we have four upper cabinets if you include the one above the fridge. So we decided to use the rail for upper and lower. It just took the thinking out of everything and made it simpler for us, and we just felt like it was secured well that way. So this is, like I said, the very first cabinet that we were building. So we wanted to get it built and then put it up against the wall just to kind of see how things were going to look. We were getting excited at this point because it was like, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner there, our kitchen stuff was living on the floor and everything was everywhere and it was messy and it was exciting to think, okay, if we get all these cupboards put up against the wall, we can put things away in them and then we can start dismantling other cupboards in the kitchen and making a new mess on the floor um, again everything going in stages so I'm gonna take a minute now just to say thank you so much for watching this video there's lots more to come we have lots more content for the kitchen for my garden I want to share more with you in terms of kind of 
the path we're starting to consider for our life and our lifestyle and our future. And I'm really excited because it's starting to feel like this channel is taking shape. And I always said I wanted that to happen organically and it feels like that's happening and I feel like it's authentic to me and our family. So I'm excited to share that here. And I hope you guys are excited to come along for the ride and maybe get some inspiration or just, I don't know, feel like you guys aren't the only ones trying to figure life out. So this is us putting the cabinets up in the kitchen and I will leave you here as a reminder to come back and check out as we continue to build cabinets and build out this kitchen in the next video. There's Andrew all excited. <laughs> and I hope you're having a great day. I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.